This is the date. Saturday, May 16th, 1992. And this is the time. I just had a shower a few minutes ago. Mindy informed me yesterday that uh, Adventure Software called all three of my games are in. Yes! At long last, that's right, uh, as of today I will have all three Dragon's Lairs as well as the Immortal. So that's right, in this very video letter, provided I can master the three of the two of them before uh, it's over, I should be able to, no problem. You'll get to see all three Dragon's Lairs, that's right, in this video letter. Welcome, by the way, to video letter 11. My dad and I are going to go down today and uh, and pick up the three games. He's paying for one of them because he promised he'd get me one of the Dragon's Lairs for Christmas. Couldn't find them, so he said if I ordered them, he'd pay for one of them. I gotta get going, so I'll talk to you later. Adios. Using the light switch there as a marker just so I know how uh, tall I can sit. I received your letter today. Your letter dated. Just hang on a second. Your letter dated uh, May 12th, 1992, of course. Um, except only one thing. Apparently, uh, Mindy informs me that it was already open when it went through the mail slot. Somebody had opened it, and I presume read it. Don't you hate that? That's why I've been really packing my uh, my video letters, as you say, tough. And I mean tough. I'm going to practically uh, mummify them from now on. Glad to hear that video letter 8 arrived safely. Uh, you didn't mention video letter 7 in your letter, I don't think. Uh, no. Did it come? <laughs> At all? I'm hoping it arrived. Uh, there is a video letter 7 if it hasn't arrived. And if you haven't got it yet, uh, please let me know because uh, something might be wrong. Uh, I'm assuming you did. I sent uh, video letter 7 and 8 fairly close together. Oh, put that there. Actually, the counter's dry. Uh, video letter 9 and 10 are almost complete at this point. I haven't mailed them off yet. Uh, I can relate as well. You say uh, you're having trouble thinking of an opener for uh, video letter 3. Well, I can relate to that because often I, uh, it takes me a while to come up with a catchy opening for a video letter. I'm always tempted to do chase movies for the beginning because they're, you know, so exciting. But uh, I think I've kind of done them to death for the time being. So I'll... Uh, I'll hold off on uh, doing that. I've been checking out a new show lately uh, called Sightings. Or, no, actually, I told you about it before. <coughs> but that was before it became a regular series. Well, they made it into a regular series, and I've been taping them. Or trying to... Have, there's been three of them so far, and I've missed one of them. This week's episode was about UFOs. I just watched it, just finished watching it about ten minutes ago. Quite interesting. I, I'm fascinated by that stuff. It's The whole show is all about supernatural stuff, like psychic powers and ghosts and UFOs and any other kind of supernatural phenomenon, you know. It's really quite uh, quite an interesting show. Went for a bike ride. Uh, just hang on a second. I have a new bike. It's a Sierra mountain bike, 18 speed. Uh, it was my dad's, except he didn't want it because he wanted uh, he wanted more of a racing bike, you know, the skinny tire kind, because uh, he wanted to go more for distance and speed, whereas the mountain bike is well, it's it's good for speed. It's just it's a lot heavier than the uh, uh, than the bike my dad has now. So you kind of have to work harder, <laughs> you know. You know, he wanted to go for distance, and he figured he'd just get tired too fast using the mountain bike, so he gave it to me. Hell, I have no complaints. 
I went for a bike ride of a few days ago, and there's been a lot of accidents lately around here, actually, you know. I've seen fire trucks and ambulances. Uh, Chris and I went for a bike ride a little while ago, or a couple of days ago. It was only, it was about a two-hour bike ride, and during that two hours, we saw two accidents. One, uh, a motorcycle had overturned or something. There were police, ambulance around it. Uh, this was on Henderson Highway. And then there was another one where a skateboarder had been hit by a, a car. Apparently these uh, skateboarders were skateboarding around and these jerks in a car decided to chase them. And anyway, one of the skateboarders ended up getting hit. But don't worry, the police caught the guys who did it. And Chris and I just sort of biked by just to get a look at them. And they looked like real scuzz bags, like uh, idiots, you know. But I'm glad the police caught them, and uh, hopefully the, uh, the kid's okay. Yeah, and just coming home today, uh, my dad and I uh, saw fire trucks and ambulances all over the place. It's ridiculous. And a few police cars as well. But, I mean, you always see police cars around. Yeah, as you know, I mentioned I got all three of my games. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I got two of my games. I got Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp. This one. Hang on a second, I'll just put it on macro here. There you go. This is the sequel to Dragon's Lair. The actual sequel. I, uh... have yet to get Escape from Singe's Castle, but I've mastered that one. I just have to tape it. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh, anyway, I'll tape it, get it all edited. And then uh, when I get Escape from Singe's Castle, when I master that and get it taped, I'll send you the whole, the whole three. So hopefully, for sure this time, you'll be able to see all three of them before this video letter is done. Well, this will probably be two or three tapes in size anyway, so I've got lots of time. As for the Immortal, which was uh, one of the other games I ordered, uh, it came in, except I got a, uh, a screwed up version of it. I got a screwed up copy of it. Uh, but it doesn't work, basically. So I'm going to have to take that back and get a replacement. Kind of ticks me off after waiting four months, but that's okay. I mean, I'm pleased with Adventure Software because they got me those two within a week of ordering them. So I was just a, it was like eight or nine days after I ordered them. Not bad, eh? A little better than four months with no news. Uh, as for the virus problem, it's all cleared and taken care of. As for the video toaster, it's working fine. Deluxe Paint 4 is great. Uh, there's an animation contest going on right now, uh, being put out by Amiga World. Uh, the leading Am Amiga magazine around, uh, around here anyway, or in this uh, continent. The Amiga's pretty big in Britain, they have a lot of Amiga magazines over there. But the only really major, uh, actually the only Amiga magazine I've seen for this side of the ocean is Amiga World. Anyway, they've got this contest going on right now, where uh, what you do is you do a computer animation, using the Amiga of course, uh, using whatever hardware and software you want. The grand prize is an Amiga 3000 computer with a whole bunch of animation and, and everything uh, software. With that, uh, has that 24-bit uh, animation, which is, as you know, the professional stuff. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do an animation. Uh, I'm going to be. I'm thinking of using the frame grabber again. Not in the same way I did for the titles for Video Letter 10, but. Uh, more of a combination of live action and animation. Like, not separately like the titles, but uh, together, live action interacting with animation and doing that with the Amiga. Uh, you don't have to submit the whole thing on disk, you just have to submit enough on disk to prove that it was done on an Amiga. Just say what, what software programs you used and what hardware you used, if any. In my case, of course, I'd have to mention that. And you just submit the whole uh, thing edited or whatever on videotape. Uh, maximum length three minutes. Anyway, I'm going to put something together. Deadline is October 15th, I believe. I'm going to put something together and try to win myself an Amiga. Not bad, eh? Now this is the kind of contest I like because it's where creativity is the key. Not total chance like uh, drawing a name out of a, you know, a hat or whatever. Something where you can win if you put together a quality uh, production. So I'm going to work on that. And I'm doing an animation for uh, the Manitoba Chamber Orchestra, my dad's a member of the board. I don't know if I've mentioned this to you or not yet. If I have, well, just bear with me, and if I haven't, then... Uh, sorry this talking part's so long, it's just that I haven't done 
very many entries for like the past week, week and a half. So I figured I should uh, update you on what's been going on. Weather's been beautiful. Anyway, I'm doing this animation sequence. Uh, the Manitoba Chamber Orchestra is putting on a concert in June, I believe. And they have this promotional poster for it. It's fairly simplistic artwork, but a lot of bold pastel colors, you know. Anyway, they wanted an animated version of it, like computer animated version of it, to uh, air on one of the channels out here, uh, CKND, which is a fairly major television channel here in Winnipeg. Anyway, my dad's on the board, and he was talking to the fellow in charge of publicity, and asked uh, if anyone at my dad's cable company could do it. And he said, well, hey, my son could do that for you. He, me, of course. And uh, I gladly accepted the job. You never know. This may be my big break, or something along those lines anyway. It may be, it may be a step in the right direction, you know. So I'm hoping that'll work out. Uh, i got to get working on it a little faster there, actually, because it was supposed to be done a few days ago. Actually, there's no really set deadline, just try to get it done as quickly as possible. Because I'm trying to take my time with it, because I want it to be as high quality and, and, and perfect as possible. i got to really get cracking with that. Uh, when that's done, I'll show it to you, so you can see what it looks like. I'll show you the poster, and then I'll show you the, anime, the animated version that I did when it's done, just so you can see the, uh, the transition. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll explain briefly how it was done, like how I went about transferring it, and so forth. I guess that's all the major news for now. Uh, one other thing, uh, today and last Thursday, I went in for two taping sessions of a, a class, uh, actually a singing class for kindergarten students, conducted by uh, my dad's next-door neighbor, a woman by the name of Alexis, exceptional singer, beautiful voice. Anyway, she was conducting singing classes for the uh, for these kindergarten kids at, uh, at some school, uh, River Elm School. Yeah, like that would mean anything to you, eh? And she wanted me to videotape it and do like a professional quality job of it. I did the best I could. Basically for her resume, so that she's trying to get jobs teaching, eh? And she wants to have a videotape of like what she does, basically, in terms of teaching, so that she can show it to administrators or whatever just to uh, sort of show them firsthand or secondhand on video what she does and how she does it and everything. Anyway, it was fun, actually. It was interesting. It was nice to get out of the office, you know. And it wasn't long anyway. It was only like a half hour session each time. Only there for about an hour each day. Anyway, so I've got about an hour of that now, uh, a little over an hour. And what we're going to do in about a week or two is sit down and do a nice edited highlights version of it for the final one. Uh, copy. So that should be interesting. Yeah. So I guess that's about it. That's all that's been happening lately. Uh, quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I suppose I should get back into the routine of doing daily reports so that you don't have to sit through these big, long talking segments. Sorry about that. It's just, you know, I wanted to tell you all this stuff and get all this stuff recorded for posterity, you know, just so I could uh, have all this on record and get you up to date. Glad to hear you're working your way through Video Letter 8. I hope you're enjoying it. Well, by the time you receive this, you will have long since received video, video letters 9 and 10. i got to get editing them one of these days. Actually, I could have finished those like two weeks ago, probably, or you know, about a week ago. I've just been, I don't know, I guess tied up doing other things and lazy. Well, we had the Amiga home for the weekend a lot when I got my games. I, Mindy and I were playing video games all weekend, basically. We'd go in shifts. It's like she'd get the computer for seven hours, and I'd get, I'd get it for seven hours. Then she'd get it for 12 hours, and I'd get it for 12 hours. And it's like we hardly ever saw each other. We saw each other in the exchanging shifts, you know? Pretty sad, eh? Yeah, well, that's what happens when you don't have a life. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, we had fun anyway. I mean, it's like just once in a while, I get to take the Amiga home for a weekend. So I want to win my own so I, can, I don't have to do that, you know? Anyway, let me just check the time here. Oh, my God. I've been rambling for 17 minutes. Once again, sorry about that. I just wanted to uh, get you completely up to date. I think that's yeah, you know, that's all the major news right now. I'll try to talk to you again uh, tomorrow. Like I'll try to get back on this daily routine. And then uh, until then, see ya. And hopefully, uh, you'll finally, at long last, I know you've been waiting for it. You'll finally get to see Dragon's Lair. Don't expect identical to the arcade. Okay, it's pretty damn close though. It's uh, by far, I think, 
well, without question, it is by far the best home adaptation of the Dragon's Lair games I have ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen a fair number of versions, too. Well, you saw the Space Aces, you know? I mean, those are basically the uh, same quality as that. Yeah, but I'll give you all the details. And, uh, I also have all the demo discs for those. Uh, they sort of, you know, provide a little preview of the, uh, of the game. And I'll, uh, I'll be showing you the demo discs before each game. So I hope you enjoyed that. So, until I show you whatever I'm going to show you next, I have no idea, really. Sayonara. Oh, yes, and, uh, okay, I'll stick with the Sayonara, and you stick with the See You in the Movies. Although I like that See You in the Movies. It's, it's got something. I like it. Okay, so, until whatever's next, Sayonara. And I promise the, the rest of the talking sequence, segments in this video that it won't be so long. Sorry to, uh, bog you down like this, but like I said, I just want to keep you up to date. And that's like the sixth time I've said that now, isn't it? I'm really beginning to just totally run off at the mouth here. So anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya. Just kidding. In case you couldn't hear me, I said I will remove my smile now because I no longer have to act. Just kidding. See ya. <laughs> and just for the record, that's the time now. And it's still May 19th. What time is it? 1.41. 8 seconds. Not anymore. That's 14, 15, 16. See, just between you and me, the reason I decided to do this right now is to get my mind off that UFO thing. Because whenever I watch UFO shows alone at night, see, Mindy's asleep on the couch right now. Whenever I watch those shows alone at night, I get freaked out. So I figured I should do something to take my mind off it, and I think it worked. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye-bye.